Wednesday morning, the president sent out this tweet saying last night he was leading in many key states. Then the leads, quote, started to magically disappear as surprise ballot dumps were counted. Here's the president in the early morning hours on Wednesday. We're winning Michigan. But I'll tell you, I looked at the numbers. I said, whoa. I looked. I said, wow, that's a lot. By almost 300,000 votes. And 65% of the vote is in. And we're winning Wisconsin. Now, since that speech, Wisconsin and Michigan have both counted more votes, and the president and former vice president have been jockeying for the lead. The president says these changes are due to surprise ballots, which are, quote, very strange. But there's nothing surprising or strange going on right now. We even verified this yesterday, before the polls closed. Wisconsin and Michigan are both states where ballot counting didn't start until election day. That means the record-breaking number of mail-in absentee ballots couldn't be counted before Tuesday. The states knew this was going to take time. Here's the Michigan Secretary of State earlier this week. We are on track to see double the number of absentee ballots, just over 3 million, submitted before 8 p.m. tomorrow. Based on basic math, we should expect it would take no more than 80 hours to count those ballots, which would take us through Friday. And Wisconsin published a series of videos in October explaining that... Accurate election results take time. The numbers you hear on election night aren't actually official. Bottom line, the claim that these numbers magically changed due to surprising ballots is false. At this point, there's no evidence these are anything other than legitimately cast ballots being counted like normal. Folks, if you see other election claims out there you want us to check out, send us an email. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.